Welcome back, Darknet agents. This is the Darknet 12 badge for DEFCON 31. This is a custom printed case with a TT Laura Go internal that folks can actually build themselves and customize ahead of the conference. It's all off the shelf parts that you can make your own. So what comes with your Darknet 12 badge kit? Well, first off, you got the LilyGo TT Go LoRa 32 V2.1 1.6 main board and antenna. You've also got this additional cable that you're not gonna need, but it's gonna come in this case that's all protecting the screen. So you can take this out and off, and then you can start assembling things. Next thing that's in the bag is going to be the custom lanyard for this year, and then the four different parts of the 3D print with the special burnt titanium sparkle blue. So you're gonna get the face front. You are going to have to go through and clean these up here themselves, going through and learning more about 3D printing. So you'll do some cleanup. This is the power bar to be able to switch on and off the power. And then there's also a right angle SMA right angle antenna connector. You're also going to get the back. This one doesn't have any holes, but we're gonna be offering that as well. And then you also have a 3000 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And then a few stickers that haven't quite got here yet when filming this video, but we'll also have them in the bag. So what do I need to do to assemble my badge kit? Well, if this is the first time you're going through and doing this, you're going to obviously need to clean your main body. So there's gonna be some flat clippers that you can find at the table at DEF CON that you can go through and clip, use it, and then leave them there for other people to be able to come in, clean up the, the main body of the badge. After you're said and done, this is what it's gonna start with. This is what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. It takes about 10 minutes to clean it off. And once it's all flat, all the support pieces have been taken off, everything's clean and good to go. We can then go on to the badge face, also doing the cleanup, which is gonna be in the window for the screen and then the far side here for the USB plug-in. So from here, after it's all said and done, it should look like this. This actually is a pop-out that we'll talk about later, but this is what it looks like when it's all set and clean. And again, this is just using the flat edge clippers that we've got here. So you don't need any other special power tools, and then this snaps back into place. More on this later. This is a tight fit. We actually, actually made the tolerances a lot closer now. So let's roll into the next part. We can actually go through and put additional functions here. We've gone through and made this a tighter fit than what our first generation was, so then it doesn't fall off. We've also gone through and put holes in to where it'll actually go through the entire body. You've got the edge routing around the side, so it actually looks a little fancier. Now let's actually talk about how to build your Darknet 12 badge after we've cleaned it. So. On our first step, we're gonna actually grab the 3D printed body. We see the antenna hole, grab the TT, the TT Go lower board, and we're gonna slide the antenna in first and then make sure it's sitting on the shelf. Then you can either attach the antenna, the antenna straight here or you can go through and grab the right angle and attach that first. Completely optional, it's completely up to you. This is gonna keep the antenna closer to the body versus it sticking straight out, so. This is what we're gonna have available in the kits. If you are building this yourself, again, completely optional. So after that's gone through and been attached at this point, you can see it's still a little loose in the body. We're gonna go ahead and put in what we're calling the power bar, which if we slide in here, we're actually lifting the board a little bit so we can see this switch is sitting above the power bar. We're then going to slide this through the entire body, out through the other side, through the hole, and then make sure that the on and off switches in that groove. You can actually see it here as I'm pointing it out. And we've actually made sure that there's clearance for the reset button not to be touching as well. So with that, we've installed the board, installed the power bar. Now let's flip it to the back. We need to be able to attach our 3000 milliamp LiPo battery. So this is using the JST 1.25 connector. Make sure that you're lining it up the right way. It'll only plug in one way. 
and once that's plugged in, you can actually go one of two ways on the cable management, but the way that I'm showing here is the preferred way. You can then see that this is on the turn off position because the stick is sticking out to the left. Uh, we also have these holes so we can go through and use something uh, a couple different ways to be able to attach it right now like i said the back doesn't have any holes we'll have a few different options on how to attach it whether it's hot milk glue or something else on the front we did go through and put the holes in place it is a snap in place kit now and then these are actually something that we're having more expansion options to where this is a skill hex plug-in if you will so where it's going to be able to give you the ability to expand your badge out there's also going to be different skill hex badges that you can swap out on that little hexagon there if we turn it on and off to the right to the left that's the basic setup then you can go through and attach the lanyard and you're off and rocking so after we have completely assembled this guy we're going to turn it on and it should boot you'll need to go through look through our other playlist on learning how to flash update pair this with your phone so then you can go deeper um, on the back here we can actually see we've got the holes going through the face of the badge to where you can either use extra filament and be able to hot uh, make that hot make sure to seal it up or honestly the zip ties are another decent way of going through and securing this so you could set up your back drill through the back if your back doesn't already have holes zip this together it's going to hold everything fairly easily but then if you need to get in and use it you can clip it and then get back in versus using hot milk glue it's really going to be user's preference so from here we're just going to go through and uh, go to the next step here which is there's one more thing which is this expandability that you can go through and get with the hex skill badge so if you actually take this back off and you pop it out it is a 14 millimeter by 14 millimeter square hole which perfectly fits a mechanical key you could go through and set this up make sure that your pins are pointing towards the bottom side so you're not going to hit that power bar you may want to go through and modify this to do other things, but uh, make sure, again, that power bar is going to be there. So depending on the size of your mechanical key, it may or may not work. That's just an idea. There are other things that you can go through and do, whether you wanted to create a uh, SAO connector or add-on, you could go through and connect it to the GPIO pins. You could go through and select a light bulb to come out through the front, be able to make a holder for that and or the same for like a sound bar or a speaker. So depending on what your needs or wants are, you now have a hole to your GPI opens that you can go through and route. This will snap into place or be really close on the tolerance. So uh, your mileage may vary here. We want to make sure that we can pick all the off the shelf parts for this year so anybody can jump in and join. These badges can be used pre and post con for off grid communications. And we want to see and share your creations. So make sure when you're going through and using these and putting them on social medias, tag them with Darknet NG, Badge, DEF CON, and Mesh Tastic. And we want to be able to see, judge, and be able to select different winners for the badges. Because there are so many different designs out there, whether it be translucent colors, people going through and making new versions of the badge, adding features, adding hardware. We want to see your gear. Very much looking forward to that. We want to make sure that things are open source. Everybody is able to go through and use those different versions that are made. We can help improve the iterations of this. And... We're looking forward to be able to see your designs. Like I said, we will have a limited number of these at our booth for donation to our hackerspace. Uh, the price to be determined. But with this, we're looking forward to seeing you at DEF CON and online. Make sure to go love your hacker family.